Hello YouTube. This is uh, my first attempt at making a YouTube video, so yay! So I hope I do really well on it. Um, today I would like to do a review on Japanese incense. Now for any of you that has tried incense or is really into incense like myself, I should mention that like a lot of people, I have really started only with your easily attainable incense, such as, oh, you know, the Indian uh, incense lines like um, Satya Baba Nagshampa, um, some of the other Indian sticks, as well as U.S. brands like Ganesh and those types. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm not necessarily knocking them. Um, they're, they're a nice um, way to introduce yourself to incense in general. And I also like to burn um, loose incense on charcoal, and, and sometimes I like to make my own blends, which is actually quite fun. But recently, I've been getting into Japanese incense, and the reason being is I really wanted to step up my game. I have found that Japanese incense, I mean, not only it, does it smell good, but it's like an art to them, to the Japanese. And you're gonna pay, you're gonna pay a lot more money for it um, than a lot of the other cheaper brands. But uh, it it is very well worth it. So, uh, what I usually recommend when you start with Japanese incense is get yourself um, a bowl. In this case, this is called a, a koro. Um, it's made of ceramic. And inside, you put in some rice ash. And um, I have not been able to find rice ash unless it's online. So, and I will include a, a link down below um, at the end of this video. Um, for you to find out where you can get it in one of my personal favorite places to get Japanese incense. Uh, it's a place out in San Francisco and they really know their stuff. So, But this is the, the uh, white ash that I use. Um, and it, it's fairly inexpensive. It's about 4 or $5 for a bag. Um, and you place it in your, your burner and you then place your stick in it and it eventually burns down and it you know to me when it comes to Japanese incense it's not just about how it smells it's about the presentation it, it really is an art form um, when you when you use it and when you present it so um, well I'd like to show you a little bit of my collection as well so um, they're in no particular order, but I do have, I tend to have the long rolls um, on the top there, um, just kind of more of convenience. But I'll start to the left here. This is um, an unusual incense. It's called uh, Tagohana, and uh, it is from an incense company called uh, Daihatsu. And, you know, it's... What I like about this one is not only is it mixed with the sandalwood, which is the base, but it has star anise in it, and which gives kind of an unusual, more of a modern smell to it. So I, I really I really like this one. This was probably when I first started out with Japanese incense, it was one of my favorites. So um, I really do enjoy it. Um, let me see if I can open this with one hand. But as you can see in the box, you can then you can find out what the roll looks like. Whoops, this is what the roll looks like. So, um, and and they make um, different scents uh, in this line, but this happens to be uh, Tagohana, and I like it because it has the the anise in it. Now, if you're like me, uh, during this time of year, you like to burn uh, frankincense, and I wanted to. I purposely put this side by side because Morning Star incense. This tends to be 
it's a very affordable line by Nippon Kodo. Nippon Kodo is one of the largest Japanese incense manufacturers in Japan. And their fragrances are pretty, they're pretty no-nonsense. I mean, when you ask for frankincense, you're going to get frankincense. When you ask for lotus, you're going to get lotus. I mean, it's not going to have a lot of the subtle nuances, but it's going to be, it's, it's basically for everyday use. It's, it's not going to be really fancy, but it is, it is decent for the price. Um, so I tried the frankincense at first, which again, it was decent. I really liked it. It has a nice frankincense uh, smell to it. But then I decided to step up to the, fr the Oman frankincense from uh, a company called Tenado, which is um, also from Japan. This is, here's the name of it, if you can see it. Um, Tenedo, excuse me, Tenendo. And oh my goodness, um, if you can get it, this one is far superior. Um, it is Oman frankincense. Apparently this company um, has permission from uh, from the uh, I want to say the the Sultan or or King or whatever he is from Oman um, has his seal of approval for for this Japanese company to use the Oman incense and it's a lot more it has more of a citrusy smell to it and it's it's very refined um, if you're a frankincense lover I highly recommend getting this now. This one, I, when I bought it, it came in a, a plastic tube that, just to protect it in shipping. And I just decided to keep it in the tube because it, it keeps it fresher, I think. So, um, but it's kind of got a, a gold wrapping on it. So, um, but it does, you can also buy it, I see, in, in a box of like, I want to say 10 rolls. Um, but I just bought one roll this time. Moving on, this is another fragrance from Nippon Kodo. Now this is called their Kayara Select, um, which is called Manichiko, and I, I mean, it says Kayara Select, I highly doubt that there could be hardly any Kayara in it, because if anybody knows what Kayara is, Kayara is the king of aloes wood, it is very expensive. It, it's more expensive than gold right now. And this box of, I don't know how many sticks are in here, but there's so many of them. Um, I mean, this whole box was about 18 bucks. So I don't know how much Kayara is in it, if, if any. But that, sh I mean, it shouldn't deter you from it. Um, don't get me wrong. It's a, it's a very good aloes wood fragrance. Um, it has, in my opinion, more of a wet, damp, old wood fragrance to it. Um, it's more refined than, say, a regular um, lower quality aloes wood um, or sandalwood, for that matter. But I, I do enjoy it. Um, it, it I, I wouldn't say it was it would be my top favorite, but um, it is very enjoyable as an everyday incense, in my opinion. So. Very good from Nippon Kodo. This one I was very impressed with. Uh, this is called um, Karen, and it's from a company called Konjudo. And I apologize if it's not focusing very well, but it's called, come on, focus. It's called Karen from Konjudo, and um, it is sandalwood base with cinnamon and spices. And oh my goodness, it smells delightful. It is really, really good. Um, the fragrance that it leaves even after you burn it, it's just wonderful. And it's very inexpensive. Um, this tube cost me about, I want to say, $8. Um, so it, 8 or $6, I can't remember, but it's quite affordable. And um, you get quite a, quite a bit in there. So, and it comes in a, it actually comes in a, um, a cardboard tube which is um, also nice because it helps protect it the sticks my next short tube that I have is um, a patchouli from Nippon Kodo uh, this is just their patchouli and I gotta tell you I was not impressed with this one um, this it had maybe 
a little bit of a floral smell and the rest of it to me was smoke. I mean, I don't know if I got an old roll or what the deal is, but I was not impressed with it. Um, I don't know if I'd go as far to say I'll get rid of it, but because um, it was only like three or four bucks, but um, I don't know, maybe I need to give it another shot. I not impressed. That's all I gotta say um, on that one. Uh, to me, it doesn't. I don't smell. I don't smell patchouli in it at all. But that's just me. Um, next is called Matsupa Pine. It is, and it's a very pretty roll, actually. That um, beautiful wrapping. Um, this is called Matsuba Pine, and it's from a company called Shunkodo. And it's all right. Um, I, I enjoy it. it. It's a good everyday incense. Um, it smells like a campfire, and but in a good way, in a good way. If you are used to pine scents that are artificial with like a pine smelling candle that you get at Walmart or something like that, you're going to be disappointed because it's not going to smell anything like that. It, it's it's a very natural smelling cut pine fragrance. It's it's not a resinous pine fragrance. It's more of a of a fresh cut burning wood pine fragrance. So, um in my opinion, good to burn in the winter time. Um it's it's okay. Um I would say on a scale of 1 through 10, I'd give it a 5, 6. It's okay. Um, but it, it's worth trying out if you like that kind of scent. Uh, my next short stick is um, also, I believe, from Nippon Kodo. And this is their Zuin. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Zuin. And it's, again, from Nippon Kodo. And it is an aloes wood. Um, again, this one, I wasn't too impressed with it. Um, it's, a, it's a little better than the patchouli one. Um, but... And I can still smell some aloes wood in it, um, but I think it's more delicate. This one is definitely more of a delicate aloes wood. Um, and this one was only about $10 for this roll. So, I mean, you're not going to expect um, a really, really good, um, how do I say this? You, you won't expect a lot of depth in a lot of uh, aloes wood that you'd burn. But again, I, I mean, I would say it's okay for everyday use. Um, I would rate it out of a one through 10, I'd rate it a four. Um, it, again, just my opinion. Uh, I don't know if it's another one where I got to give it a little bit more time, but, uh, the roll is pretty. Um, the, the packaging is very nice. It's, um, it, it looks very sophisticated. So, all right, moving up ahead here, this is getting in more into my longer rolls and, these particular rolls, um, with the exception of this one here, um, which I'll get to in a minute in this one, um, these are more geared toward meditation. They're not really geared towards um, just making the house smell good. Um, it, they're geared more towards meditation, especially if you are into Buddhism. Um, but I personally like to burn them uh, for enjoyment as well. So you kind of get a double whammy with them. Uh, I'll start with this one. Now, this one is probably one of the more expensive ones I bought. This one was $28 uh, for this roll. Um, and this is this one is called, um, it's from Baido, which is one of the um, older, more established incense companies in Japan. But it's called Kayunko. And in Japanese, that means good fortune. And... Um, so I guess you're going to get good luck when you burn this. <laughs> um, maybe money will come into my house if I burn this more. I don't know. But um, but if you open it up, I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful presentation. Um, I do have a, a stray stick in here um, from when I burned it last um, that I wanted to say. But as you can see, what's unusual about these sticks is they have more of a square cut to them, and they're pretty thick. Now, this one is quite spicy. This one has sandalwood and aloes wood and it has spices in it. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit more on the spicy side. In fact, as long as we got this out, I'm gonna cut these, this baby in half, and I'm gonna tell you how it is. Let's see if I can get it burning here. Right, 
and then you just take this stick and you just stick it in your burner here and let that burn. All right, so with this one, you know, I'm picking up uh, the sandal, what is what's going to first hit you. But then um, a couple seconds later, then you, you smell the spices coming out. So um, this is a more, um, it's definitely going to be more on the refined side. If you're used to sandalwood, it's not sweet at all, uh, in, in my opinion. It's, it's going to be spicy. Um, so if you're into that, um, uh, you'll definitely want to pick some of this up, uh, especially if you practice any type of meditation. So, so that, thank you, Baido. The next one is one of my top favorites. If you want to get into Japanese incense, you need to have this in your collection. This is very affordable. Um, this long box was about, I want to say I paid about $16 for it. The short box is only about, I don't know, five or six bucks. Um, so if you want to try it at first, you can get the short box, but oh my goodness, this one, and is, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that a gorgeous presentation? But this is sandalwood with amber and spices. And the amber really comes out in this. It's a very warm fragrance. Um, and it's a very warm and deep, dark fragrance. And I, I just love it. Um, it smells great unburnt, but it doesn't smell anything like it when you burn it. So when you burn it, it has a very sweet ambergris smell to it. So I'm telling you guys, you got to get some of this. This is, again, it's called Full Moon. Let me, let me get this for you. It's called Full Moon, and it's from a company called Kiago. Kiago. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but um, you need to have this. Very, very awesome. My next incense long box is Rey, Rey Yoko, Rey Ro, Rey Yoko. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, this is principally burned at a particular um, uh, Zen Buddhist temple in Japan. And I'm going to give you the, this is, and the company that makes it is Konmedo. And it's again, Rey Yoko. And I love this too. This now this has more spices in it, but it's not as spicy as the uh, as the first uh, as the baido. This one is going to have more of a sweetness to it with the spice, and it has um, fenugreek in it, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, this was the first time I've, I've ever burned uh, incense that had that ingredient in it, so I thought that was unusual, but it was very pleasant. Um, this is one, another one that I think you need to have in your collection if you really want to get into Japanese incense. So, um, it, it's just, to me, it's just a delight to burn. Um, you get the sweetness of sandalwood and the fenugreek, and you also smell some clove in there. Um, very beautiful, very beautiful scent. Highly recommended. My next one is, um from Shoyedo, and it's part of their, what they call their Zen series, and this one is called Evening Zen, and this is another one that's going to be spicy, because um, it's going to have cinnamon in it. it, it has the sandalwood, but it has cinnamon, clove, um, it's got camphor in it as well, so it gives you that coolness, um, and I believe it also has um, a couple other spices that I can't think of right now, but um, uh, again, it's all right. Um, it's on the side of, uh, if I rate it one to 10, I would probably rate it a seven. Um, it's, uh, it's good. It's decent. Um, and as the name suggests, it's great to burn in the evening, kind of as a way to wind down. So, um, wonderful presentation as, as well. So, and, and again, I think with all these Japanese incenses, Presentation is part of it. I mean, being able to unwrap it and take it out of the roll and before you even burn it is part of the ritual. 
So very beautiful evening zen from Shoyedo. Now, this one greatly surprised me. This one is another one from Shoyedo, same, same company. And this is called Kayu Nishiki, which means autumn leaves. And um, I don't know if they have a label on here. They don't, but uh, you can see it here. Um, oh, here it is, Kyoto autumn leaves. And I'm telling you, th this roll only cost me about three bucks. And for the money, it smells like it should cost three times more than that. It is a wonderful scent. This is probably the tops, one of my tops for me. And it's, it's affordable. It's an affordable everyday incense, but it's good enough to burn on special occasions. It is a very sweet incense. If you like sweet scents, it's, it, it knocks you with cinnamon and it almost has a, it almost has a cinnamon cookie vanilla smell to it. It's just wonderful. It's a very soft, deep, sweet smell. I mean, it reminds me, I mean, if you want my opinion, I, I don't know why they call it autumn leaves because it doesn't smell like autumn leaves to me whatsoever. It smells like a bakery. It, it smells wonderful. And, um, this is another one that you need to have in your Japanese incense collection if you want to get started. And it's very affordable. Highly recommended by me. I would give it eight or nine out of ten stars. I'm saving this one for that last. <laughs> this one is called Firefly. And you know what? I cannot remember the name of the company. But it's, it's their Firefly line, and it's a smokeless um, line. And it's, it's a great incense to have if you have asthma, if you have other people in your household that don't like the smell of incense. Um, they'll probably like this one, or they'll, they'll be able to at least tolerate it. Um, and it burns very, very cleanly. This one is the Beechwood flavor. And which is a very unique and unusual fragrance, um, but it's very pleasant. Um, so if you're just if you're like me and you like those woody smells, this is more of a light wood fl fragrance. It's not going to be sweet. It's going to be more. How do I describe it? It's soft, lighter wood. Um, it's it's like it's like a white colored wood. If, if, if that's the best way I can describe it. It's a very uh, light wood smell, and, I, and it's a very, um, very nice, uh, pleasant smell for every day. So get yourself some of that. That's really good stuff. Okay, well, I had to save the best for last, and I did, for the record, I didn't buy this. This came in um, when I purchased um, all of my incenses, and keep in mind, I spent quite a bit, but um, I got... Um, a free sample. I got a few sticks of the, it's a company called Minorian, and it's their Fu In Kayara. This is Kayara. Now, a little background here. Aloe's wood is top of the line when it comes to incense ingredients. Kayara is like aloe's wood on steroids. It is top of the top. It is worth more than gold right now. If I were to buy a regular 40 stick pack of this Fu In Kayara, it would probably set me back a little more than a hundred bucks, which I can't afford right now. But I, I could not resist. When I got this, I broke a piece off. I just, I just broke half a stick and I burned it in my burner. Oh my God. I, it, it It is unlike anything you will ever smell in your entire life. It's so hard to describe the scent. It's, it's a very deep aloe's wood fragrance that's sweet, yet spicy and damp at the same time. It smells like you're walking into a 500-year-old temple. And you can smell the history. I... That's the best way I can describe it to you. I have no other way to say it. It, it. I would say if you 
really want to get serious about incense. Get yourself some Japanese incense, but, you know, take some time to save some money. And once you're ready, treat yourself to a box of incense that, you know, at least has some Kayara in it. Um, you will not regret it. it. It is an experience. It is something that you don't want to burn every day. It's something that you want to burn um, to contemplate. Special occasion. So, um, so I hope you enjoyed my first video on YouTube and feel free to um, make comments if you'd like, good or bad, I don't care. Um, this is my first one, so I, could, I can have any suggestions are welcome. So thank you very much and enjoy.